So this is the question. It says a uh, certain slide projector has uh, some focal length. Let me write it down. So, you know, most of these questions, I'm not gonna actually plug in numbers. So this is a focal length uh, lens. Oh, I forgot to open the hint. It'll probably link me to some section and examples. I do recommend that you look at the hint, um, but <laughs> I don't quite remember what it was from uh, <laughs> without additional hint of my own. Um, so it says, so it's a projector. I hope you all have a sense of what a projector is. You know, it's uh, usually an electronic device. I mean, it is an electronic device. You hook it up to a computer. It uh, shines light and you set up a screen and on the screen, you see some image. That's, uh, that's what a projector is. That's how it works. Now, the fact that you are projecting uh, something on an image onto a screen actually gives you an answer to A right away. Because uh, for the projected image to somehow end up on screen and appear focused, it must be a real image because the, the at the location of the image, the light rays are actually focusing there. So it should have formed a real image. Uh, once you know how a, what a projector is, that's an immediate answer. Uh, once you understand um, what a real image is. So, so that, that's useful because it helps us to draw the diagram. So when we draw the diagram of a, kind of a magnified version of this. When we draw the diagram, what that's going to look like is we are going to have a lens that I'll just draw a single lens to represent the optical system of the projector. And uh, here it is. Slide is placed some distance from the lens. So this is going to be my object distance. So I have a slide here. And uh, I'm comparing this number with the focal length to make sure that it is beyond the focal length. So this is the focal length. Uh, this uh, distance is the object distance. It asks how far from the lens should the screen be placed for a sharp image? So this is how far question is asking me what is the image distance? So, Okay, um, and, and so uh, so let me just draw a sketch of a ray diagram. So this is not gonna be to scale. It's not gonna be actually accurate because we did this a small um, distance difference. Uh, so, you know, the image is much farther away compared to how close the object is. So that's not something I can draw to scale. Uh, so I'm just gonna pretend to do ray tracing without actually doing ray tracing. Just gonna say, okay, image forms here. <laughs> um, not to scale, I'm just bending my rays all over the place. But this is the principal ray one, which comes in parallel and goes through the focal, uh, focal point. And this is the pr principal ray two that goes through the center of the lens and goes through undeflected. Um, so to answer a question like this, usually we don't use ray tracing, mainly because it takes too much time and accurately drawing it is, becomes challenging. What we do use is the algebraic uh, expression that relates these three quantities together, the object distance, image distance, and the focal length. Uh, they are related by something called the thin lens equation, one over DO plus one over DI is equal to one over F. And in a different context, you've seen me use with mirrors. So even though we call it thin lens equation, it's applicable for a really wide variety of situation. And uh, here, I'm just gonna solve for my image distance and that should give me the answer. So I'll just uh, go to that algebra. Um, I'm gonna put one over di by itself by moving one over do over. That's one over f minus one over do. Uh, combine the fraction so that I can take the reciprocal, common denominator, F times DO, uh, DO times DO, you know, multiply top and bottom by DO, multiply top and bottom by F, so DO minus F. Um, now take the reciprocal to get image distance is equal to F times DO over DO minus F. 
I think you've done this enough. You should have done this enough times as you're going through homework that this feels very automatic. So, um, so that's the answer for image distance. And when you watch the unit, you might notice that everything is in the unit of millimeters. So if you're plugging in units of millimeters, you get millimeters squared for the numerator and just a millimeter for the denominator. So uh, units cancel out to give me just a unit in millimeters. So I don't actually have to do any unit convergence here. Okay, so that's part B. It, uh, so in part B, we located the image distance and we are going to use that image distance as a known quantity for the remainder of the questions. Because I think looking at uh, part C, it looks like I need to know, um, in order to answer this question, what are the uh, dimensions of the image? I need to know the magnification. So, um, so you know, magnification in all contexts is defined as the uh, image height over the object height. That's the definition, that's always true. Now, in a lens arrangement like this, it can be shown, now, it is not shown, but it can be shown to show that this is equal to minus the image distance over the object distance. And just to, as a brief note, the derivation uses these two similar triangles and a bunch of algebra that um, that actually does use this expression again to convert the, the expressions for length to simplify. And uh, in a different question, you saw me trying to use this formula for a single surface refraction and just be careful that uh, unless this expression is true, this uh, expression here may not be true. But for most of the questions we'll consider, this will be true, hence this will be true. So we are just gonna use this. So um, so now given this, uh, um, this uh, result for magnification, what we can do is we can reverse this relationship here. We can reverse it to get that my image height or image size is equal to uh, magnification times the object size. So that's uh, what I'm noticing here. I can treat each of these numbers independently as some kind of um, object width object height, and um, I, can, I have enough information to figure out the magnification because I just found the image distance and I was given the object distance. So, um, so you know, just plug in those numbers to get magnification as uh, some numerical coefficient. And once you have that, then you can multiply this in object height With what? Oh, sorry, that is width, not height. That is width, and this is height. So for the image width, you can do its uh, object width times the magnification. And for the image height, it's the object height times the magnification. And here we are expecting a positive answer because the question is just looking for sizes. It's not asking you to uh, indicate that the actual image orientation is flipped from the, um, the object orientation. But, okay. Um, so, you know, it's a relatively simple question and that's kind of uh, why I did it, why I want, wanted to do it, because I think it's so easy for people to just uh, go straight for this formula, go straight for this formula and just, you know, uh, make it into a formula, plug in the numbers kind of exercise. And I want you to make sure that you consider the actual physical picture because that's the thing you should be practicing always. <laughs> 